So welcome to the first session of 256 Seconds with Dadette Dave. I'm Dave McCarter, a.k.a. Dadette Dave, and I uh, hope you enjoy this new series I want to do. So the first topic I wanted to talk about, I actually decided a while ago, and since then it's changed, so I'm going to show you some of those cool changes. But it basically revolves around something someone told me even this week is, I don't need source control, I'm only one developer, or we don't... We can't afford source control. We want to use open source or any of those kind of excuses uh, that I hear years and years and years and years and years. But anyway, so I'm a bit anal. I always have my code in source control. I have it backed up on a local drive. I have to back. I have it backed up in another local drive, and I have it backed up in the cloud. So I have my source control in about four places. Yeah, that's bit overboard, but believe me, when you're a contractor and you, you lose an hour or a couple hours or even a day's worth of code, guess what? You're eating that cost, and I don't want to eat costs like that. So let's take a look. So here's what I want you to check out. It's the Visual Studio Online. It used to be TFS Online, but now it's Visual Studio Online. Just go to visualstudio.com, and uh, you'll get there and uh, create an account. And once you create an account, then you're going to have, uh, you know, basically TFS online for free. So in your TFS online, you can have projects, you can see how everything's going, your latest build, load testing. One of the cool features I really like is just opening your project in Visual Studio. And if you do it from here, then it logs on to TFS correctly and you don't have to do it in the in the Team Explorer in Visual Studio. So here I'm just going to go into the new version of my open source project, .NET Tips Utility. And in here you can see, I, you can look at your sprint, uh, pinned items, uh, backlog, you can create team rooms. Everybody can go into the team room and leave messages and discuss things. Collaborate. You can go in and look at your code. You can go in here. Here's my latest version with my uh, different uh, assemblies and my unit tests. You can go in here and look at your code. You can look at your chain sets. You can look at your sh shelves. So basically everything, if you're used to any source control, especially if you use the TFS, then uh, everything's here. It's pretty cool. The feature I do use is the builds. So I can go in here and I can see the build definitions I've set up in Visual Studio. I can see my completed builds, my queued builds, my deployed builds. And so let's start a queued build really, really quick here. So I'm going to go here and just say queue build and just, I'm just going to leave all the defaults. And now it's basically going to go and build my project up in the cloud. It'll get the latest source out of the cloud and build it and it can also run tests it can do visual studio analyze and all kinds of other things if you just uh, configure that i don't have that configured right now my build's done uh there's something going on with it so i can go in there and i can click on it i can look and see why my build uh stopped for some reason so how much does this cost you ask well visual studio basic online which includes basically everything i showed you is free free, free, free for five users and $20 per user per month on top of that. So if you want to upgrade, you can go to the $45 per user per month, which it gets you everything you saw previously and subscription to Visual Studio Professional. Huh, that's pretty cool. All right. I hope you like that. No more excuses for not using source control anymore. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Uh, make sure you check out one of my conference talks coming to a city near you on the .NET Dave Rocks the Nation Tour. Check out my website for dates and locations. See you next time.